Hey, Paul Throt here with Microsoft's Donna Sarkar at Microsoft Ignite. What is your what is your job title now? Do we have one? So interestingly, I don't really have a job title. This is normal though. When I took over the Insider program, if you recall, yes. I didn't have a job title either because my predecessor was a vice president. So he was VP of the Windows Insider program. I was not a vice president and I continue to not be a vice president. So Mary Jo well, actually decided that I should be chief ninja cat right. of the Windows Insider program. So this was program. Mary Jo's fault. It was Mary Jo's fault. So, she actually said it on Windows Weekly. We're in introducing Donna Sarkar, chief ninja cat of the Windows Insider <laughs> program. And that stuck. And that was in all the articles after that. That's so awesome. So I'm going to wait for Mary Jo to give me a title because that worked out pretty, pretty well like last it. time. All right. Yeah. All right. You heard it here first. Exactly. So you are obviously transitioning to Power Apps. I mean, how did that come about? What so I have been working on the Windows Insider program for you know three and a half years, right. which is kind of a lot. It's one of, crazy. The, one of the longest running yeah. jobs I've had. Um, before I ran the Insider program, I actually worked on advocacy for the HoloLens product. Right. right, for That's years, right. yeah, right. for a long time. So this whole passion of connecting the product team with the audience, especially if they're developers, is like a big passion of mine and everyone knows. Honestly, you've been yeah. kind of doing advocacy yeah. in one way or another. Yeah, forever. Right, forever. but this and isn't really developer it's advocacy. It's not developers. You know, I've been on this whole mission and I've harassed everyone, including you, <laughs> that everyone in the world should learn coding, right? I've been talking about this forever. And I know every time we've spoken, I'm like, how's the coding going, Paul? Yeah. How's the coding going? And I've harassed Brad, I've harassed Mary Jo. And finally, one day, a very good mentor and sponsor of mine, Scott Guthrie, reached out and said, you know, we would love to have a lot more energy and attention on this amazing product we have called the Power Platform. And this is a tool by which anyone in the world can become a developer without coding. And I said, eh? there's an <laughs> so interesting it's not idea. Code, it's no, no code. code. Okay. Exactly. Some of the tools are low code if you want them to be, but for the most part, you can do so many things with no code. And I thought, no code, what's that? So I started playing with some of the products. I started playing with Power Apps, which yep. is actually no code. I started playing with Power Automate, AKA used to be known as Flow, which is low code. Right. I had used Power BI before, which is like, you know, macros and queries and sorts of things. And it's sort of yeah, a modern macro. Exactly, yeah. It's like experience. macros, queries. If you know how yeah. to do Excel stuff, you can do this. Okay. And I realized this is such a cool tool set. And then I started hearing the stories of the humans, right? <laughs> this is like the school teachers, the security yeah. people who work security at airports. This is the people who are bricklayers. And they're able to build these no-code solutions, whether it's apps or chatbots or whatever, to grow their careers and improve their business. Right. And that's exactly what... I'm all about, right? I'm all about like tech will set you free, right? And right, right. yeah, I've been right. on this forever yep. and people have been like, Donna, shut up, no one cares for a long time. But to be given the opportunity to actually line up a job or have a job that lines up with my mission exactly yeah. is weird and timely and yeah. it's something that we obviously believe in deeply. So sure. I love the Insider program, obviously, right? I and talk still, about it all the time. I mean, you're still involved yeah. for now, right? Yes. I, I, maybe I shouldn't say for now, but there. Yeah. What, how, what's that transition been like so for you? It's been really easy, honestly, because um, the team is really, really self-sufficient, right? Everyone knows, them. like, you know, Brandon does all the communications and the blog writing. Mm -hmm. You know, Jason does all the yelling at the execs about what's gone wrong. Right. You know, Eddie does the troubleshooting on Twitter and all the forums. You know, Jen comes up with like the quick, cool, like shortcuts and keys and all of that stuff. And Blair does all of the enterprise stuff. And Vivek does all the dev stuff. And they're all here, right? Yeah, nice. So we've been working together every day, day in, day out, 365, 24 7 for three and a half years. Right. So these are five incredibly capable, it's very like you're smart pushing people. them out of the nest. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, they push <laughs> me out of the right. nest. They're like, so. Yeah. On a day-to-day -day basis, they've got this. They've completely got it 100% right. covered. So business as usual, they are continuing to do exactly what they've always done. And I am doing really the things that I made a commitment to do that I personally take a lot of pride in and a lot of energy from. So those things. I am speaking at Ignite. Mm -hmm. So Wednesday, tomorrow, we've got two insider sessions, one at two, one at three. One is on the future of Windows, where I'm interviewing Windows leaders and asking them like wow. hard questions. Nice. And the other one is a customer panel where I'm interviewing customers about how Windows insider build adoption helped transform their business. 
So I'm still leading those. And on we got Ignite Tour. We have 30 cities yep. of Ignite Tour. So I'm still doing the insider talk in many of these cities. I think I'm going to seven cities. Oh, so, nice. Yeah. Okay. So insidering, I do believe, though, it's for life. Yeah. yeah. And do you think, so do you think that will continue or is that something that tapers off as you... I think it totally depends on the business goals, yeah. right? Because I'm happy to talk about insiders anytime and everyone knows that. Sure. Um, it really is a matter of if they shift to focusing more on, you know, a different kind of audience that I might not be as familiar with, yeah. then of course they should have someone else who's an expert in that thing, okay. right? Talk about it. So what about Power Apps, the Power Platform? I mean, obviously this is a big coming out party of sorts uh, for those technologies, but what happens going forward? Are there milestones that we need to know about or events? So all of you who've been following along, you know that we're really bringing together everything into this Power Platform. We've got Power Apps, which are low-code apps, Power Virtual Assist, which are low-code chatbots, Power BI, which is the dashboards, and Power Automate, which are the automation flows that kind of glue everything together. And what we really want to do is bring awareness to bigger audiences. Yeah. So what I specifically will be focusing on for the next, you'll see a few months, is building the learning paths for people who use tech in some way and helping them use the Power Platform in a way that benefits their business. So what I mean by that is figuring out people who are good at Excel, Power Apps is really good for visualizing their Excel spreadsheets. Right. Like really good. Say you're, you know, work at finance in a company. How can you visualize all of those financial spreadsheets in like apps that people can grok a little better than a spreadsheet? So what does that learning path look like? Probably people who work on Excel aren't hanging out here, right? They're not at Ignite. How do we reach them? Are there Excel conferences? I think there are. So can I crash Excel conferences? I think, you could. I think so. So it might be like crashing Excel conferences, crashing HR conferences, crashing legal conferences, staying out of jail, um, <laughs> that sort of thing. So um, figuring out who are the people who work in companies who would benefit from the Power Platform, and how can I help them learn using their language? Right. It's a very much currency of the human thing. Like. Um, I was talking to one of my colleagues. He says, when you go to a hospital, you don't say, tell me about your clients. They're their patients, sure. right? They're their patients. So how can we build pathways and learning tools for people who work in companies? I guess the citizen devs, right? right. All around the world. Right. So that's Are we one. calling them devs? Citizen devs? Citizen devs? I don't, it's a... We need terminology for this. It's an industry this. term, right? Maybe a builder. And builder, maker. Yeah, creator, so yeah. maker. So maker is a term that a lot of people use. And I quite like that because it's not so dev. It's yeah. not so builder. Almost it feels like sound physical. technical and unattainable. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I don't want this to sound like oh, you need to go get a computer science degree or bust open Visual right. Studio, right? You don't need to do these things. Um, but if you are a pro dev, there's definitely a place for you in the Power Platform world. I am a pro dev, I guess, um, where I've lived my entire life in Visual Studio and C++. Right. But now your goal but, is to keep people out of Visual Studio. Uh, <laughs> it's to enhance their experience. Right. <laughs> so if you are using Azure Portal and you do are using Azure SQL, you'll notice there's a little box that says, generate my Power App. So if you're really bad at making UI like me, this becomes really useful because if you're using a common data store, you can generate yourself a Power App without having to do UI because no one likes to make UI. Yep. I mean, lots of people like to make UI, but I don't. Maybe yeah. you don't. A lot of devs can't do that. No. Just... But I will throw down a challenge that I think Paul mm -hmm. should make a Power App. Oh, I'm going to make a yeah, Power App. You should make lots of Power Apps. Yeah. And I told Mary Jo she's going to make a Power App too. I, uh, Mary Jo, yeah. I'm not sure, but I we... You know, I came here specifically to learn about this. It's kind yes. of an interesting yeah. coincidence with you moving yeah. over to that part of the company. Mm -hmm. but It's a really important space, yeah. honestly. Like, I had a sweet, sweet, sweet gig. I wouldn't have given up that sweet gig with people <laughs> I love. Unless right? it was something yeah. really special. Unless it was really special because I love the Insider program. I right. love the crew. We're like family, you know. I to this Even last night I was yelling at them about something random. And I love our Insiders. Well, that's why know. they kicked you out of the nest. Exactly. Like, yeah. <laughs> But, you know, we have insiders, 17 million of them, every wow. country in the world. That's I right. have friends in, like, every city I go to, we have insiders. And nothing would make me happier than insiders saying, how can I use Power Platform to improve my business and my life? That would make me, like, enormous. Nice. Mm -hmm. So, anything else we should know about this week or what's going on with you? Or You know, like, this week has been wild because... Yeah. I did my first Power Platform demo yesterday, right. and I was go. terrified. I was terrified. I was really? so scared. I was terrified because yeah. I'm thinking, AI builder, what is that? <laughs> and I've never trained or used an AI model. I'm not a data scientist, but three clicks, right? Yeah. You choose a form template, you mm -hmm. train it, 
and it gives you a result. And that was that. And I said, I did that. So the that. trick is when it works, you don't act surprised. No, the key is not to say, whoa, <laughs> yeah, oh, that worked. <laughs> that looked really right? good. <laughs> that, was what, that was me yesterday. I was like, why did this work? Right. That's a miracle. Right, but I think me coming at it from this beginner's mindset is actually great. Yeah, because well, right. So you're you're it. onboarding in your own way right now, exactly. and then your job would be to help others to do the help, same. Help yes. others onboard. That's great. And help others who don't have my privilege of working at Microsoft, being surrounded by people yeah. who really know what's up all day and all night. As many, oftentimes, the people who are going to be using Power Platform are the only. Right, they're the only one in their school, their company, their organization, right. and they're you know a little bit of an entrepreneur who's learning this thing and trying to adopt it for the broader whole. Right. And they may get pushback, they may have questions of how do they connect with people, how are they able to have a global community from within the comfort of their own home. So that's our job, the team that I'm on. Yeah. How do we build that? Nice. That's yep. great. Well, thank you Fantastic. so much. Thank really you. Really appreciate it. And we're going to peer pressure Paul into using the Power Platform. <laughs> and next time, he's going to do a live demo. I'll do a live demo, yeah. All right. Yeah. You never Thank know. You. Thanks very much. Uh, checking out from Ignite, Paul and Donna.